Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah A question was asked <clears throat> by one of our brothers, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him, ameen, ya rabbil alameen, and make his affairs easy and our affairs easy, ameen, ya rabbil alameen <clears throat> He said late, uh, basically that they are from the youth, unmarried, and they fast, but they find an increase in their desires uh, their sexual desires and to where it's clouding their thought and affecting even their ibadah, basically. Uh, so, what kind of advice? Uh, and the second part of the question is that I am afraid that my fantasies may hurt my ability to be completely satisfied with my future wife, inshallah. <clears throat> so, these are a couple of very touchy issues, and in fact, you could, I, I believe that we might be able to safely say that these are uh, more contemporary issues, which we require ulama to kind of look into these issues on how to properly deal with some of these issues. Uh, the first issue being, uh, the first issue is not really anything new but just the fact of an increase in desires you mentioned that you are uh, in your 20s mid 20s this is not anything strange however uh, when it comes as we mentioned <clears throat> in our study of Bulug Amaram Kitab and Nikah uh, the first hadith when it comes as the Prophet Ali Salam mentions that uh, a person uh, you know, when it when it comes to affecting your ibadah and, you know, that you have very strong desires, this is what's understood from the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, what some of the scholars mentioned, it's not what the Prophet ﷺ said, is that then this is one of the situations where it becomes an obligation to... Uh, to marry, as the Prophet ﷺ said, Ya ma'ashir al-shabab, uh, men men whoever uh, has strong desires from amongst you filia to then they should marry <clears throat> so the prophet sallallahu mentioned addressing the youth that saying oh youth uh, for those amongst you that are able those who are able uh, that they should marry and we talked about as the ulama the scholars differ about alba'a meaning having the financial ability some say and some say no it's the physical ability as long as they have the physical ability they can uh, perform so to speak uh, then they should marry so the scholars mention with regards to that the different ahkam pertaining to uh, 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 nikah and that sometimes it's an obligation. So if it comes to the state, uh, comes to the uh, where to to where it affects your your worship and invades your worship, so to speak, then this is a strong indication that it's an obligation upon you to marry. You know, if you have the finances and you can find someone. Um, and so, this is very important that that should be a top priority for you. So as not to fall into zina. Because maybe you've been strong up to this point. Walillah alhamd. And may Allah keep you firm on khair ameen. But the shaitan is ever clever. And the situations are ever dangerous. And just in the blink of an eye, someone in good and khair can fall uh, and and it can be devastating, especially someone who has saved themselves, and then they fall in their twenties. They waited twenty years, and then they slip up. That's that's a, a a sad state, and can be devastating. So it's very important to strive your best to protect yourself from the muharramat, and keep yourself in positive environments, and avoid what you watch and what you look at. And what you listen to and who you listen to. With that being said, again, you should be striving your utmost to, to really marry 
and protect yourself. The other part of your question is where it becomes more complex and requires contemporary tesor of the issue because now we are faced in situations that the people before us were not faced with to this degree. Every, all, all humanity uh, throughout time uh, after the, uh, the creation of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam, was tested with this. As the Prophet alayhi salam, said, Mina, uh, in al awla fitna bani Israel, kana fi nisa. Verily, the first fitna or trial of the children of, Ad, uh, the children of Israel was the women. That's a big test for us as men. And so, with that being the case, is that it's very important. Uh, and I don't blame someone for seeking satisfaction from their partner, but how do you go about getting to that point? It's very difficult at a sit down uh, or in, in most sittings, and especially depending on the culture, because in the West we have a bit more flexible cultures, especially us as reverts, we don't have the same kind of uh, hang ups in a sense, I would somewhat say, but also we don't have the same protections as well in the Islamic culture and so forth. Uh, whereas there may be a father that's there to protect from a man asking some very strange questions like this and saying, hey, I was kind of turned out or whatever. So it's very difficult uh, in trying to address these issues. But I think the best thing is to tawakkal Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do your best to find someone compatible with you. Obviously, you're not going to know uh, about those other issues as far as desires and and how you relate to one another physically, but just relying upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and hopefully that your person, as long, uh, as long as you are striving to pursue halal, that they are, that the partner that you gain, the woman that you marry, and vice versa for women that are trying to get married, that they, uh, that they are open, bi'idnillah, to exploring with you within the realm of halal, within the realm of what is lawful, meaning avoiding akramakum Allah, avoiding the anal, and of course, when a woman's on menstruation, that there's no sexual intercourse. But that leaves open a lot of other uh, relations and relationships. So those kind of things are not easy to address and very difficult. <laughs> However, I know... I'm sure that many of the youth now, unfortunately, with the internet and their contacts with one another, there are probably many who do address and who already talk about these things, even prior to marriage. So, I my general advice would be to to walkal Allah, fear Allah as much as you can, try to try to find someone who is uh, compatible with you, uh, and ask Allah often that hey that you want someone. Who will satisfy you and who you will be satisfying to physically, mentally, and spiritually. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.